Okay. Let's let's go back to this career, bro. Paul, about that experience, man. Mm. Let's go on with your your journey, bro. Have you seen how long we've been vibing? Yeah, it's good. Let's get let's go. Five a.m. As guys were up and ready. I'm ready. Let's go. I love it. I love it. Um. So where does the story? Let's talk about now. Hustle Yako. Yeah. So um, along the, the the journey, you know, interacting with young people, I came to identify opportunities um, to empower. So I'd go for gigs and people ask me for 50 bob, 100 bob, 50 bob, 100 bob, you know, jeng and any. But you know, I came to realize that I can't give tunes to everyone. I'm not a billionaire. Also, I feel like apart from handouts, how can we empower young people to earn their a living for themselves mm. and also perhaps create employment for others. So that's how Hasoliako came to be. So Hasoliako is a youth empowerment and development initiative and that we use to, to change mindsets. So we're changing mindsets. Uh, amongst young people about how they think about career, business, and entrepreneurship. Mm. And uh, I remember when I joined your Telegram group. Yeah, yeah. So, so we have different things. So, like for Telegram, it's about guys giving a platform for guys to interact, like a mini market. Um, guys post like, do you have this? Can I get this? Where can I get this? Referral based. Mm. Um, so we have Facebook group, we have Instagram, uh, Twitter, um, and then we do on ground events as well in in, in high schools, campuses. And also what we call mtatuas. Mtatuas now are targeting like youth who are, are not in an institution. Mm. to base community engagement, mm. talking to youth. So the big idea is, is to show young people that they can succeed uh, and that they have the tools to succeed. So it's You about, came up with this on your own? Yeah, it's my initiative. I'm a founder. Mm. Uh, and thereafter now I, I established an NGO that now houses my youth empowerment. And What's the NGO called? 254 Cares. Oh, nice. So I currently have two... Uh, uh, initiatives active so there's Hasoliako mm -hmm. and there's Punguza. We'll talk about Punguza. Me, yeah. I'm not a fan of Punguza. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just being honest. But, <laughs> but, I'd, right. but I'd like, but I'd like to, I'd like to get your understanding of Punguza yeah. because I have two daughters. So real talk. Yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah. You'll tell me when you're ready. <laughs> no, we have me today. <laughs> so am I done with Hasoliako? No, no, so Hasoliako, Hasoliako yeah. is. It's about mindset. And you see, once young people understand that they have it within themselves to succeed, they have the gifts, they have the skills, they have the talents, they have the abilities mm. to succeed. So here we're not just talking about, do, I don't have capital, seen a loan, so you see, but a loan, you bank, in a day title deed, in a day mm. book, na sina security. Uh -uh. Where were any resource? Esther, you, you being able to talk and in calling DNG to interview DNG is it's biashara, it's, mm. it's transactional. Mm. DNG being able to get on a stage and talk to people, I'm the resource, I don't mm. need education. Exactly. I don't need to have capital, I don't need a, to have a big account with a lot of money in the bank. I just need to, to wake up and go, mm. get up and get it. That's what Hasoliako is about. So we are showing people that it is possible. And, we and your story and what you've just shared yes. with us the past five hours. Yes. This is proof. This is proof. So I use my story first, and then I get stories from other people from various sectors of the economy. You know, like some of the guys who've worked with Nkaka, uh, you know, is a great mm. story, Octopizo, uh, the Kibira to grass, you know, grasses mm. and riches story. Um, Steve Kumari, who owns Roots Dreadlock mm. Center, Nancy Mokuo of uh, My Jobs Kenya, to teach guys what are employers looking for in this day and age, how do you become marketable, mm. employable. Um, so it's it's a cross board, Lucia Musao talking about digital media and all that. So we, we, we just tap into the friends and risk and networks that we have and, and open up a, a safe space and a platform for them to come and tell their story within mm. the same audience. Mm. So, you know, it's panel based, guys come, uh, give their stories. We, we're mentoring youth, youth are asking questions, we're inculcating also soft skills, things like savings, discipline, networking, branding, nice. thing, basic things that you're not really taught in a school setting that can allow you to become a better career professional or business person or an entrepreneur coming up with an invention or mm. a new idea or an industry disruption do you have funding for this or do you have partners we are self-funded so uh, that in fact that blew me that yes yeah, so, um 254 cares is self-funded yeah so i set up hasuriako then i set up punguza then i set up now the ngo because uh, i realized that we need to separate the commercial entity mm -hmm. which is 254 entertainment and, and group of companies in from the social impact agenda so social impact is about empowering impacting and changing our generation mm. and it's co-created we co-create with our audience mm. so sometimes the audience starts a conversation and then we, we pick it up and, and and we build on that and we engage mm. so we don't have a donor a lot of people think we are donor funded we don't mm. we don't have a donor we 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 fund ourselves 
So how we do it, we hive off profit from the, the commercial arm of the business and plow into the NGO. For real, for real? Yeah. This is not PR talk on this. No. So this is your heart. Literally, this is where your heart is. You see, if I had a donor, I'd have to shout out a donor. Like if I had a client, I'd shout out a client. But I don't have a donor. What? So we fund it. I, I, I pump in chums into it. Then I have like people now who support in kind. Mm. Like now we, uh, I'll give you an example of an engagement we had in um, in, in Kajiado County, in, I think February of this year with each one, which one. So we partner with different organizations, mm. and people with ideas. And so you find people coming on board with different things in kind. Some brought uh, some like a, there's a pad company, I can't remember the name, that brought in sanitary towels for the girls. Uh, the, there's a company that brought in cooking oil and hand wash solution. Butter gave shoes. Mm. I think one of the hotels gave a, a cake for the kids to cut and celebrate. Um, somebody gave paint to refurbish nice. the school. Somebody gave us a bus and fueled the bus to transport the entire nice. team. Other guys were doing donations like on Mpesa. Ah, so, sweet. so, so, Mia Mia, on 50. Yani, so you guys have, you've got an Mpesa till number. Yeah, now okay, we hold do. on. Okay, let me let me let me now shout out to the CTA guys. So if anybody has heard what it is that you're doing, the number that is scrolling down, I also did this for Nanini. A lot of people gave because okay. a lot of people may have the finances and are trying to help young guys or people in sanitary. For Nonini, that's what he was doing. Okay. So you know about this thing for uh, albinism? Yes, and even for the albinism thing, yeah. uh, Kalako face. Yes, Kalako so face. I just any moment that I can, anytime I'm hearing that people are doing positive, on CT I bring, to, to, as I was telling you, I bring people who have got a level of integrity and also who are impacting yeah. others in society. Yeah. So for those of you who are watching this and who feel a need to give, this number scrolling down right now, uh, that is their, it's a pay bill of buy goods. So we have, we have a pay bill, yep. we have an account that you guys can, can wire. We have yep. PayPal for guys in the dashboard. Nice. So I'll give you all the information. So all these and details. And it's actually, as we're talking right now, it's been scrolling. Yeah, it's set up. So, right. And it's also within the comment and the description to anybody who just like to give to what it is that you're going to do. Yeah. And we can guarantee that that is going to be yeah. used by uh, to the youth. Correct. And that's why we separated the, the lines of business. We mm -hmm. separated 254 Entertainment because that's a commercial entity. So that I deal with my corporate clients. And then the NGO is put it up as a special purpose vehicle for that reason. Okay. So that there is financial prudence in case, uh, you know, sometimes donors ask you for to, to audit your yep, books. Yep, yep, yep. You can be able to open up and say, this is what we've received from people. And this is how we used it. And then even if somebody is un unable to give in cash, they, they can tell us what they can give in kind. Like maybe a brand mm. manager is watching the show. Mm. What does your company do that you can give young people? This are young people from like even primary school. Mm -hmm. Because like in Kajado, we, we did a primary school uh, activation with the community. That means parents, teachers, etc. Well, we've done high schools. Um, some of my team are telling me we need to do prisons like we used to do with Kubamba. Mm. Uh, we haven't really got, got gone that direction mm. because I feel like there's so much for us to do in the, in the, in the high school campus space mm. for now and the MTA. So that's what we're working on. Um, interestingly, you said you're talk, we're talking about Punguza. We had an NGO give uh, uh, contraceptives, condoms, mm. that now we distribute. Mm. Now we have World AIDS Day coming in December. Mm. Uh, so we, we, we're, we're now trying to convene and see what can we do for that. So you get what I mean? So I get people, people are supporting in whatever form and way. I love it. So it does find if you've got the cash and maybe, because yeah. a, lot of, a lot of different diasporas watch the CTA show. Yeah. Um, I love the fact that you've thought even you've moved to PayPal and yeah. you've, got, uh, you've got even your accounts on yeah. that. Yeah. Some guys were telling me, cash up, cash up. I know. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You guys are US. So yeah, like we're open nice. to, to creating avenues for people to engage with us. We're trying to also put you up. Have a website. Website. Huh? Do you have a website? Not yet. Not okay. Yet. We're, we're trying to put up now a website with a donate tab where guys can now be directed automatically. Yeah. The guys were asking, like, can we commit to do uh, donations monthly? Like, nice. Via, Subscription via, based. Yeah. Via via credit card. card. Like, yeah. Like the big NGOs do. Yep. So we are working on, on developing that. We're not yet there, but mm. slowly but surely. For me, um, I'm not those kind of people who rush to take people's money. I get, I get what uh, you mean. No, actually, I don't get what you mean, because a what, lot of guys are not like that. <laughs> so just because, it's, for me, it's, the NGO is not commercial. It's an NGO, it's a non-profit. Mm. So when we're talking about DNG's red card and 254 Entertainment as an agency, I'll build you properly, mm. <laughs> like mm. I do for corporate clients. But with, with this, it's it's um, we're moving in step by step in stride, and it's a long-term journey. It's a marathon. Mm. And, 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 and step by step, people are coming on board. Like, I'll give you very good examples. 
apart from the ones I've issued. Like the former governor, deputy governor of Nairobi, Mweke, sponsored a Kayanga, mm, nice. hike, gave Karim a check. So I, I brought Mweke on, on air and I told him, yo, these guys have great ideas. You skiza to a business speech on air, guys call in, and then we award one guy with cheddar, business capital. Nice. He did it. Um, uh, I'll give you another example of uh, uh, my boy uh, Steve Kumari of Roots Dreadlock Center. Mm-hmm. We did the uh, Upgrade Your Salon campaign where we uh, decided to empower hairdressers within the slum areas within Nairobi to, you know, with, with uh, hair dryers and beauty products. Nice. So we're giving you tools for the trade. So the guy funded that and, and supported that uh, with King Kaka Sanitary Bank, King Akimfe, King yep, 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 yep. and all that. Like, it's, it's amazing partners who are able to support. I was talking to Marini the other day, Michelle, and she's like, yo, we need to do something like upgrade your salon where we can give product to guys. So my team hasn't uh, come back. He come back on that. So Kina Ian. I, I love <laughs> I, I love the heart of, of, of this. Yeah, it's just people, man. It's yeah. just people of, of this. I want to understand. You see, a lot of times you can judge people before understanding people. And that's why I love City. And City, when you hear somebody's stories, it disarms you. You're like, yo, bro, if I was in that guy's shoes, I would have done 10 times worse. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. I can't begin judging you and saying things until I hear your story. Yeah. And then that's when I'm like, yo, me, if I was in your shoes, I have no idea what I would have done. But I want to understand this punguza. Yeah. Explain, explain the, the, the gist. From what I've heard, uh, maybe my understanding of it is wrong, and that's why I want, mm-hmm. even I don't even want to explain. So punguza is a is a youth advocacy and sensitization campaign revolving around sexual reproductive health and rights. Mm-hmm. So the backstory is is a lot of crisis around reproductive health uh, being faced by young people. So I can talk about a lot of things from unwanted pregnancies, mm. STIs. HIV AIDS infections, abortions, uh, mental health issues that have to do with relationships, you know, uh, um, transactional sex that is taking place in, in our country. Yep. Transactional sex as early as kids, where young kids are being sent by their parents and community leaders to sell their bodies so that they can have a meal to eat in mm. the evening. It's a documented uh, research by UNICEF on Kilifi County. That's one example. So it's, 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 it's crazy. This is quite ground. Quite ground, this is the facts. Like in Kilifi, the levels of poverty are so dire that the community leaders and parents are on record and on video. And on our proposal, we cite that and put a link for our clients mm. to see, mm. or our sponsors to see uh, what we're talking about. Because we have to do a case, a case study and analytics and show data on what the, the, where the crisis is at. Mm. So they are on record saying that if the, my, our girls don't do this, what will we eat? Yo. Because it, it's the, the, the girl going to the beach to sell, sell her, her body, body to a tourist is, is the game changer between having a meal for the, for, for the family or not. We're not talking about rent mm-hmm. or a PS4. We're talking about food. food. If somebody is, is that poor and they cannot have food, you think they can afford health care? So these problems are intertwined. Poverty, unemployment, and, and, and the social vices around them are interconnected. Mm-hmm. So the only way, in fact, I was, I was talking to some development partners at, at the coast the other day, we had gone down with Chipu Kizi, talked to some NGOs there, and, and were telling them that this issue of transactional sex in this area, the coast, it's not just about kuguzamwili, mm, poverty, child prostitution. It is poverty, mm. where the mom turns a blind eye is like, "Kuli leta ngapi leo? ngapi? Straight up. So we have a lot to do. I feel like as a generation, Esther, we cannot sit back and do nothing. That's why I decided to do something. It's mm-hmm. my own way. People may not be happy about it. People may not support it. But I'm doing my part, even if it's small, even if it's 1.1 milliliter mm. of 100%, fine. I want to say one day that the way I saw the issues that my fellow young people were dealing with, this is how I responded. Mm. This is how I created a solution 
that is practicable, practical, I beg your pardon, that is effective and that is sustainable for the long term. So mm-hmm. our, our interventions are relatable, they're practical. Mm. That's the difference between us and another NGO. I'm not check, doing check boxing mm, for a donor for Dona, in the yeah. United States. Yep, 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 yep. My our solutions are homebred, home solutions, local for our people, for our generation, for young guys who've pitied what we've pitied. Where you go, you kula chile, kavu, you get your chomeka in the morning mm. because you didn't use a CD. Mm. So can't we now take that and chanuana? Because it's co-creation, it's, it's peer-to-peer engagement. Uh, Gina from... Diangoni Christine. Form, form 3. I'm Lynette, Form 3. I'm Shenedi, I'm in Form 4. Okay, so ladies, Mshai have sex? Fine. Hapana. Hapana. Once. Once. Yeah. Okay, so what you said you did now is as uh, how the venue will find you ill ku uli feel like just as a kifanya sex. It was painful, mm-hmm. I didn't expect it. Uh-huh. But yeah, it was good. And did you use protection? Yeah. Um little mia condom. Okay, so according to Nini, Atakam to have sex. Basically, everything about Punguza. What do you advise people as in the visual to me are contraceptives, ama? Eh, ni vizuri kutumia contraceptive mm-hmm. juu ina nini health yako ni muhimu sana nice no eh hey, mimi na advice madam mm-hmm. kama ni lazima ufanye hiyo sex mm-hmm. utumie contraceptive na kama utaki kufanya sex u abstain nice. yeah, i think using contraceptives is important mm-hmm. as punguza you've taught us to be loyal to one partner so of course that means trust iko hapo aha and then kuna hii issue about ali Pregnancies na teenage pregnancies. What do you think about that? I think early pe- pregnancy in a come about when people do sex without doing protection. Uh-huh. And uh, I think maybe it's for pleasure and then accidentally wana pata mimba. Yeah. Okay, so what what will do? Mkona sasa na jua mna jua sio nyo amepata ball mapema, si ndio? Mademo yang when you amecha shule jua ball. Mnezaji ambia my youth wengine uko nje when you engage na irresponsible sexual behavior. Mimi ni zaambia tumie contraceptives kama wasi uh, kama CD mm-hmm. condom mm-hmm. eh na ma pills uh-huh. kitu kama hiyo eh aha mimi ni zaambia tuatumie condom ju condom ndo yenye inja yani ndo ile effective ama alafu pia ni cheap kushinda hizo zingine okay and tell our youth follow youth manze ni aje tutumie CD ama tujaribu bana ama utafute hata partner moja mm when they test nini unajua wewe ni clean wewe ni clean no so ni tunachanuana mm. it's not like we have a solution where, it's not a school it's a conversation and a conversation is two way so people respond and say hey this there's people who are like no don't, don't do this it's bad it's, it's against you're encouraging young people to have sex i remember being told in one of these blogs mm. that dng is encouraging young people to have sex and and that's and that's where i'm saying I'd love hearing it from the horse's mouth because already when you mm. started with the background I already know what yeah. I've what I've heard is maybe what I've read and maybe the name Punguza yeah. I've not understood the foundation on which you said let me tell you about it so yes. and and I've even defended Punguza in 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 top level engagements with with the global development partners guys like Amref uh in attendance guys like Sakadia Nairobi senator the 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 parliamentary a committee chairperson on health Sabina Chege they've been in attendance and I've told them what I feel should be done from government to development partners and it's a conversation I continue to do I have done a media tour about it I'm mm. doing my own on ground engagement people invite me for conversations webinars talk about this how can we get partners on board and and you see we forget that our generation is already having sex mm. Mm. Our generation has had been having sex even before I. Mm. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. And will continue to. Okay? Kuchil I go. And it's important for us to call a speed a speed. Mm. I'm not saying 100%. Mm. I'm saying majority. And majority is what forms it into a crisis. That if majority of young people are having unprotected sex, how uh, how much are we exposing ourselves to? Mm-hmm. Isn't it a conversation 
and was why, having when you say young what what ages are we talking about okay the earliest documented uh cases of of of, of pregnancy is nine years old documented i'm not talking about defilement mm. i'm talking about a young guy a, a nine-year-old boy or a ten-year-old boy who had sex with a nine-year-old girl you mm. get what i'm saying mm. this is within public facilities this data is from the ministry of health so, so. Mm. so nine years is the starting point you said you have daughters so start thinking how old what class is this nine mm. years that means they're having sex either because of peer pressure you know how it is to be a young person sometimes yeah. we pretend like we were never youth mm. <laughs> and, and, and we sit on our high horses and start talking about each other on screenshots mm. as foolery i start again because we were youth mm. we are youth today mm. is aren't we best placed mm. bro you are just saying how you are selling porn <laughs> yeah is aren't we best placed to communicate to our fellow young people yep. and so that they can avoid the mistakes we made that they can avoid the accidents we made they quick they can avoid uh, the blunders and some of the blunders are life threatening and are scarring for life mm. you see i believe like we must engage our young people where it matters so we can't just talk about e- economic development without forgetting health mm. that's true you understand so there's a lot there's a lot to discuss and there's a lot of engagement so what we're doing is going into their spaces high schools um where parents allow mm-hmm. price uh, primary schools like now the one with kajado it was an, an open forum with parents teachers and students mm. parents are like hey, 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 mambo ya kondoma, pana, pana, pana. and we're like why mom it's a conversation did you have this conversation with your parent nada i'm going to learn how to use a cd on your own if you did <laughs> you know what i'm saying like Brown, so can we see. change can we change the game bro yeah. what, how can we comfortably sit in our good homes and high houses and see people suffering maybe because of lack of information because of lack of knowledge sometimes people don't use contraceptives because they can't afford them if somebody is poor cannot eat do you think they have money to buy a cd mm. do you think that is their concern is the concern an sti or it's to eat, uh, to eat. and no, survive till tomorrow so let me ask you this what's the agenda why punguza so punguza comes from the mindset of reducing irresponsible sexual behavior so it's an ongoing conversation mm-hmm. because we we acknowledge that somebody cannot just uh, stop immediately no no addiction is 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 dealt with cold turkey that's why people relapse mm. go together yes if you look at do a drug survey from Nakada or from even even crime the, if you if you are incarcerated you are most likely to return to that yep, yep. Mm. because of inculturation so the, the big idea is how can we inculcate a positive mindset and good lifestyle choices amongst our people step by step mm. because i believe previous campaigns that have attempt, been attempted and failed like to me chill mm. failed because people didn't chill if people chilled okay. wouldn't have had the the same outcome that we're dealing with today let me ask a straight up question yes so punguza... things, things like telling young people listen if you have 10 chiles can you punguza to like whatever now uh sasa poor unaitwa barak uh uko form four form four yes na wewe nancy form four Michael from Wow, nice. So who can tell me what sex is? Nani anizaniambia sex ni nini? Sex is two part is about two partners. Uh-huh. The a male and a female uh-huh. enjoying themselves through they are what? They are It's all about sexual intercourse, ndio? So have you ever had sex? No. You've never had sex? Yes. Okay. Have you ever had sex? No. Nope. Okay. Have you ever had sex? Yes. Okay. The first time you had sex, how did it make you feel? Ama how do you feel when you have sex? Una feel ngaje okay, okay, okay do sex. Sikwa kwanza ilikuwa uchungu. Uh-huh. But when ikazoea, <laughs> sweet. Mtamu. 
So, when a partner, uko na, uko na sexual partner so angapi? 15. Wow, akona 15 sexual partners. <laughs> Unatumbi anga contraceptives. Ninge fundisho kita mapema hii inatupunguza. Ninge fundisho mapema singe kuwa na mtoto mmoja. But saa hii sikuizi wanaitumia. So unatumia anga condoms? Mm. Na au wote kabisa kuna mtu naenda na eros ndio? Ah ni mmoja tu naenda na au 15 wengine ni wakuni ni kukula tu. Aha. So ukiulizwa kitu about STDs ama STIs what will you say? Ah mimi naweza sema STIs ma vijana wajue STIs ziko na pia wakipata STIs zitawafek na pia utapata venye tulifunzwa kuna STI yenye haiponi. So kama wana wanataka ku have sex they use the contraceptives yeah contraceptives uh, kama condoms na pill uh, to enable them ili wasipate hizo STIs ah uh, unaweza ambia nini about wale matins wamepata bolo wala watu wamekuwa pregnant mapema eh uh, ningependa kusema kwamba wajipe moyo waendelee wajitunze sasa eh uh, wasiendelee kufanya ama wakifanya watumie kondo if you have been having unprotected sex, can, can you, you wear a CD? Can you now wear a CD? Mm. Or can you go for testing? Can you get the right ah, access no, bro, information? I, that, that I fully understand. In fact, yeah. I fully understand and support it. I've got a two-year-old. We're not teaching her about oh, this place. With, that's your vagina. It's a chile. Yeah, don't let somebody touch you we've here. We've got to teach. We've got to be like, um, it's two years old, Bana. Mm. Bra, that's one of the hardest things that the, my wife has had to yeah. do. And you, you talked about but you have to do it now in this day and age. Esther, you talked about porn, right? Haya, do, do you know that young kids are watching porn even in primary school? Let me tell you, I was at Google. I've received letters from school, eh? School, mm. for parents. You know that how yeah, yeah. an email is sent to all parents yep. from grade X to X. Of an issue where kids in lower primary schools are watching porn because they are phones. They have... Google, dude, let me. They, they, when I worked at YouTube, mom, it's not hard to find nudes online. When I worked there, and they would and they would post the reports and say the things that Kenyans have been searching most for is is uh, is how to kiss. Or, uh, I'm like rubbish. From the top ten sites that Kenyans were searching, can I show you? Porn hub number one. Porn were on three. <laughs> Gam, uh, by that time, betting sites were on like two, and the rest was social media. But porn was such a major thing. So when Correct. they when they when they post these things and they try and make it look yeah. like kids are not looking at yeah. porn. So so pa- perhaps based on first our traditional setting as a country. Mm. But, our, but hold on, Genji, let me ask sure. you this one question. Okay. This this for me is is the game changer. Is part of your initiative to get them to reduce the age at which sexual consent is allowed by law no my campaign is not about consent but consent is a is a legal issue mm. consent now is an issue of uh, perhaps amending the law that is the conversation that was taking place yes we participated in that conversation uh to get input from young people because policy needs citizen participation mm-hmm. in fact we also participated in a, in a co-creation exercise where we were creating communication and messaging for adolescents where we even brought teenagers mm. in different parts of the country to give their stories and and we can use those experiences to inform the advocacy and programmatic uh, campaigns yes. that we want to roll out because sometimes if you don't co-create with your audience you talk from i'm, I'm 34 mm. i talk from a 34 year old but we're not listening to the, the 13 year old mm. the 16 year old talk to them mm. and sometimes just have even a cup of tea mm. if you have a small brother small sister nini ingiza the mahkastoro a can nephew when you are they'll tell you so some of the feedback we got from this youth one the reason they're not using condoms is because when they walk into a chemist they feel judged oh they can't buy it these are now urban youth mm. forget the youth now who cannot afford that is a different story mm. you see the, the paradigm is different in every part of kenya mm. in nairobi some of these young people have and uh, the issues of like fear of so, so the crisis is access to youth-friendly health facilities where a young person can go and get contraceptives. Are we encouraging them to have sex? No. We're just cognizant that, that with or without sex. our intervention, they yeah. will. Okay. And if we do not intervene, they'll have unprotected sex, they'll get STIs, HIV, AIDS, unwanted pregnancies, yeah. abortions, it goes to mental health because of shit. 
you, you messed yeah, up your life yeah. you cannot deal with it trauma etc drug abuse to heal with the pain the spectrum is mm. and then you bring up a generation which now it's it's a mess up. Okay. so as a young person can't i now come in and intervene and tell guys hey, hey, can't we have youth friendly health facilities now that's a conversation with government and mm-hmm. development partners who have the budget mm. but the budget is not being allocated to you it's being reallocated to other things uh, as you've seen mm. we have so much money in this country donor partners are sitting on billions of shillings but it's at the top the programmatic investment is so little but and I you don't have to give this money to 254 entertainment uh, uh, cares as an ngo give it to whoever to do whatever but let us see the impact even tell me there's a youth friendly clinic on, on in tao or wherever estate that is giving free contraceptives i'll push it for you for free i don't need a, a share of that money mm. bro let me tell you first of all i apologize for so saying pushing guys to do the right thing so me i sit at, at high level conversations with mm. government mm. with the county government because health is a devolved function mm. this county government sometimes tell you they don't have budget i don't understand how county government official will tell me they don't have budget because for you wame it kula. pains me man it pains me then tell me to my face they can't okay? can't i sit with the development partner sitting on a budget they are like oh, no we don't have approvals yet cases are still having unprotected sex out here let me say this so if they are not going to do it me i'm going to do it even if i'm not able to do it to the national scale that i want you can do it too. i'll do it step by step impacting the the little i can with the resources i have that's my story dude let me tell you first and foremost it's so important to tell your narrative because now i understand what pongoza is about in fact i support pongoza thank you you get like and push it bro push guys to support see, 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 uh, we've done contribute it here. let's have this condom manufacturers giving us cds even i don't want the tunes mm. give us the product we will deliver it i'll fund the transport i'll set up the activation i'll teach guys about srhr how to use do you know even some youth don't know how to use a cd mm, because not taught they're not taught in school so I'm, we have invested in those who then mm. training tools mm. to teach dude you know the misconception and the misinformation is so much and let me say this kwa ground vitu ni different and you are on the ground hey, so I, i can't start giving my uh, thoughts about the youth when i left that bracket a long time yeah. ago you know what i mean talking to them every day exactly this is what you do and also when i hear your story you're not faking this thing yeah. this is where your heart is it's things i've also pity at esther yep when i'm saying uh, talking about punguza like guys are attacking me yeah, yeah, pushing punguza being one you get we're not pushing punguza because we are perfect mm. or we are saints and angels who have descended from the heavens We are pushing kunguza as youth peer to peer mm. like nikikwambia eh hey, buda una invest si ati mimi si, si, si na challenges ado mm. pia mimi napitia mm. so tunachanuana bro some of these campaigns i also do to kunichanua mimi i get kunishtua eh hey, enyewe tuna risk sana mm. and that's how the conversation is as real as it is because anyone is at risk of catching hiv aids yep. all you need is one ex, ex, ex encounter with of unprotected sex to expose you to that. Yep. Do you understand? So it's something that we must remind ourselves even if we think we are now married we are perfect we are families. We have to remind ourselves that our waze lazima kuwe na history pia kupunguza kwa waze. Kwa ni waze afanye hizi vitu. If you ask Kenyans on in general who is here is having sex with an unprotected unprotected sex mm. you see the statistics. I do it on my on my platform. You see the polls all the time. You see 60 about 67 70% mm. young people having unprotected sex mm. and they do not know the status of the other partner. Mm. So that is reality. We can agree or disagree, we can hide it under the carpet, pretend it's not happening all year and do now because we are Africans and we cannot talk about sex. Oh my god, I remember being kicked out of KBC once eh? because I was, I was talking about sex during my Punguza media tour on KBC, a national broadcaster. Strange stuff. Dad man the narrative <laughs> let me the tell cut you I know I I I I the narrative that even I got cuz not I've not researched about Punguza but it sound you see that's why I like hearing from the horses yeah. mouth because now I can come back to you and I say DNG here's footage that you said this yes. and me I'm a guy of doing my research yes and we so, document we document our interactions with youth 
we document. So you've got YouTube channels for all of this and all this. My, our YouTube channel is called for Four TV, which you can help us promote. Let yeah. guys see no, our. Don't worry, I'll, I'll share it, man. Uh, I have no problems. Uh, so you see our videos of our engagements in high schools, in Campo, all that community. You will see everything we do. We film so that people can see. I'm a, I'm a believer in in showcase, and mm. also as I do it, I'm also encouraging guys to pick up courses. So even my peers, uh, wasani, who are followers, nini, these influencers, mm. use your channel something to pick a cause. It doesn't have to be sex mm. or uh, sexual health or or, or, or youth empowerment. Be about pick something. even malaria. Mm. Pick even climate. Mm. Pick leadership, governance. Mm. Pick whatever you're passionate about, even just arts. I'm an advocate for arts. Let me let me say and, this and use your channels to positively impact others. Esther, we have to transcend beyond being celebs of kujulikana ndio sasa nisikie poa watu wananijua niko na followers wengi. Hiyo ni ufala kabisa. Now I'm about turning it around to use my influence to communicate positivity to my generation. And that's for me is a legacy program. So I use any engagement with clients I've told you from Gava. When I sit with Gava officials, I'm the guy who's speaking I'm like, okay, you what are you doing for, for Vijana? Every office I enter. Whether you're in housing, like now is this Bomayang, which I'm a mm. part of, telling guys the importance of owning a house. I'm like, I went and asked, why isn't this conversation being packaged for youth? Which is now what I'm doing. Mm. Because young people need to know that first, they have the right to own a house because we we think kuona nyumba ni ama buda ni ah anza pole pole kuna one bedroom ya 1 million mm. so kuingia you need 12.5% you know how much you need 12 125000 haya mm. divide by by 12 months ni ka 10k kila mwezi mm. wewe utafuta 10k una kata maji mm. kila weekend una turn up <laughs> una stand social media una trend shukali how are our priorities that's the conversation that i'm dissecting and disseminating for my young people in my way and everywhere i go i hammer my clients i'm like ah, in this story where is the youth story here i go to which fund i want to know and i ask the ceos the pss nini candidly mm. you've brought me here to do comms kuna story ya vijana and even if there isn't we will introduce it mm. I'm, i'm in the tourism sector now with our a new show we are putting together i'm asking the players there how can we package tourism and for the travel youth. for youth exactly Do, hey. how we look at it is lazima kuwe na domingi ndio usafiri first domestic tourism is only being enjoyed by international tourists mm. which is now, so When I was young, I used to go camping, but now we pay kidogo sana Nairobi Baptist we used to uh, camp at Hippo Camp. Bro, it is a thing we used to call do call 10k. You pay 10k 3 days you know mara. Food it's kila possible. kitu. We just need to package it in a palatable 10K, way for you. 10k 3 days in the mara. That's yes. it's rubbish. Choice. And you don't have to do it every day. Ex- you do it even quarterly. Exactly. Pick 3 every 3 months. That's a G a month. Uh-huh. Or 3 Gs a month. Yeah. You get if you really want to travel yeah. every quarter or you can even travel twice a year. Yeah. But let me ask spoil. You. Okay, what I mean. Cuz young people, this is my opinion Esther, have not been brought onto the table in every sector, agriculture, trade, technology, ICT, nini. They were not on the table. On the menu. But bro, let me also <laughs> let, let me yet we are the majority. Let me also turn around and put a rod to the back side of of the influencers the media personalities 99% of the rubbish that was been on tv that's how this channel started this channel that you're on it's because every time i switched on media it's about this divorce that has happened yeah. it's not their fault talking nini you get and that's no we're not saying that there isn't a time for that no i'm yeah, exactly <laughs> but it can't be the 99% conversation every day yeah. if, that and if, politics. if every day you're talking about a divorce happening how do you expect that yeah. kid to ever think marriage is work in fact media feeds people politics and negativity mm. and, and your scandal and, and now let me chapa you as Three well. are, are you part of this thing are you part of that narrative never show me where where i've been a part of that narrative you're not part of that narrative never even even like on radio you don't even consume tv because of even that even when i was on radio mm-hmm. uh we've never it, it was always it was always positive so like on 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 uh, 
on, on Tuesdays, we had two five four Tuesdays. So we tell Kenyan stories, play Kenyan music, support Kenyan artists. Mm. Monday was money Mondays. It was about money and development. Mm. Wednesday, it was an empowerment day for women. I used to call it uh, Diva Wednesdays. So I bring in women entrepreneurs, nee, 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 talk about their stories and uh, women-related issues. Uh, Thursday was a throwback, so we could we, I could push against what you're doing, connecting mm. the dots between the past and present. Mm. Then Friday was an entertainment day where the whole show is dedicated to arts. Artists, DJs, vixens, nini. You get what I mean? Yeah, I guess. So, so the, for me, my life is always the positive yeah, conversation. Okay. Right? I'm not a, a consumer. That's why you don't see me spew hate on my page or tribalism on my mm. page. or Even when people attack me, I don't use my platform to respond to hate on my page. You know? I, 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 I propagate positivity, um, empowerment, impact. And, and I want to challenge my peers to do the right thing. Okay. Because it, it is time. Despungu- it is time to turn around. Does Punguza also have the, the I call it financial infrastructure for value to be transferred? So can I transfer value from value? Do you have M-Pesas? Do you have yeah. for Punguza so, as well? So or is it for... It's through 254 Cares. So 254 okay. Cares is the organization. Okay. Punguza is an initiative and under the organization. The organization. Yes. So also when you're, when you're submitting your, your, your let's pay- say it's an M-Pesa payment mm-hmm. for the account, and I can give you this information after this, so you can put it on, on the scroll. It's what's on the screen now. Yeah, you 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 can uh, as you're being uh, pumping in money into the pay bill for account. You can indicate Punguza. my chum is going to Punguza. Okay. My chum is going to Hasoleaku. Mm. My chum is going going for, to General. To you do care. reports. Yeah, we do. Okay. We do reports like what we we, we, uh, we do our reports in a very cool way. We call it the journey. So we document periodically, and this we share with our development partners, people who are like have shown interest. Mm. In, in supporting in one way or another so we show them the journey so that they are able to see from when we started Punguza what have we done what have we achieved what okay. have we, our outcomes it's called the uh, social impact outcomes okay. so it's not just doing for fun and people feeling good because they went for charity it's mm. impact what impact did I live in this school this this, this what is, impact did I live in this university this is why I am stopping your conversation kidogo to push this me i'm fed up of jungus coming to sponsor us and fund our our thing not because we have the finances within us Mm -hmm. to be our own solution Mm -hmm. you get we can't just constantly be running to ngos or or, or, or not ngos people from abroad donors to come constantly support us like we ourselves don't have this thing can i tell you something strange in the donor world and these are things that that i'm learning as as i engage with them Mm. the big donors from western countries give their money to western ngos did you know that the money really trickles down to the cbo's and the ngos at a local mm. no i didn't know that i don't want to name names but that is a crisis that nibis nikki pindi yao nikki pindi philanthropist and at one billion dollars because there it's tax deductible yep yep yep, yep, yep. and then the money is given to a muzungu and i'm not even trying to be racist but the ngo is western a Western NGO cannot solve problems in our yep. in our scenario. It yep. must the solutions must be localized, and, and we're not even against them coming to set up here. No, where, no. where are the partnerships? Let's see exactly. the Western NGO that was given the grant of one million dollars, that's hundred million Kenyan shillings. Team up with these grassroots organizations in Kajiado, or in Embo, or in Kitui, or in Nyamira, and work with them. Mm. Rather than paying executives hefty uh, yeah, well, exactly. expatriate Expatri- salaries, yeah, I know. And, and it's amount, not making amount, sense to me. But let me also add and say, in Kenya we have the mal- mentality, and this I've, I've even witnessed with CTA of Sina. Mm. I'm like, that's rubbish. Everybody has. Listen to what I mean by that. Mm. If you have 10 shillings, give one shilling. Yeah. No matter you how know, little. If you have even those million, who have Bilakash Kabisa, give your time. Exactly. Come and talk to youth. Exactly. You get what I mean? So it's not that you can't power. do. So this is my challenge as these things are scrolling down that guys give. Now, because I've understood from the horse's mouth what Pongoze is about, I um, I apologize for just uh, taking what I read on the blogs. And by the way, blogs, but as you just get the real stories as a mm. you, you get to shatter. Yeah. Be, you, know, uh, some, you know, negative news sells so much that it's become the currency of choice. Remember some of these blogs, how they make their money, they through online ads and Google ads. And and, 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 and and like I see some guys that saying, but if you like my work of exposing guys, send me a <laughs> It's fun. <it's, laughs> I'm not trying to knock on anybody's hustle, mm. but like, 
we consume so I much am energy. Worried. I mean, uh, it's affecting the generation. And, and negativity. Have a with it. Yeah, that it's. Let me let me not even blame anybody. Let me just say it is up to us as industry leaders, captains of industry, to reset the button, mm. to change the narrative. So what you're doing, Esther, is amazing. That even agencies are watching what you're doing. Next, you have to now put ads here. <laughs> uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. So like, it's it's what you're doing is 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 pioneering. If we never did it, I'm not, by the way, I'm not saying I won't put ads. There are better ways to sell ads. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you do your do your package like of properties and yeah, sell to yeah. So, so it's a, like we have to do it. Someone has to do it. So you are doing it. I'm doing it. Uh, I saw Joa Kali doing something with, with mm. uh, Nini, uh, Kibera with Refiga. Mm. Friend of mine, I've seen Kinkaka's Kinkaka Sanitary Bank. Janet Tumbugu has something she does about menstrual. Mm. Health. Juliani has Juliani, Juliani yeah. has this thing. Okupizo has a foundation. Yeah. For refugees, so people are passionate about different things, and that's what's beautiful. Adela's Masama some, something called she uh, for, for, for women, etc. So let 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 us encourage this kind of initiatives because people are taking their time. Sometimes we do these initiatives not because we are earning. An auntie of mine asked me, "Hey, how much do you earn with this initiative, Pusa?" I don't earn. I'm not on a salary. I am funding it myself. <laughs> I love that you're on camera saying this because because Najilipa Aje Nasina hata do ya kuendeleza hizi projects sometimes like we get so many proposals to partner with guys sometimes I, I I feel like how do we how do we do them all mm. we don't have the resource so so now what I've, I've decided to do is now reach out to partners talk to a guy you have a tent you have this you have this come we pull and we do mm. we pull and we do we using your relationships relationships because I'm tired of waiting for donor funding. It's not that we've not applied for it. We have. Mm. We've, you know. And even local funding. I've gone Ga- to organizations, presentations, nini. People are not. Oh, it's a nice initiative. That's what it ends. <laughs> people don't put their money where their mouth is. You see, that's a challenge in this game. And and uh, so you, we can wait and, and exist on paper for the rest of our lives. Or we can do what we can, stack hard step by step no every journey starts with the first step so you know we've moved from dependence in fact i was telling my guys effective january we're not doing proposals to any organization we're not filling in any applications for funding my calls my our time will be to to talk to esther can you come and talk to young guys in this mm. room about what you do mm. my calls will be to next person mm. next person can you give product nini airtime nini soda whatever mm. you can mm. Tuchagui, mm. wewe uko na viatu leta, wewe mm. uko na hata nguo mzee leta, tutapata place ya kuzipeleka. That's how I'm going to do it from next year. I'm telling you about my plan for 2021. Nice. Yeah, in fact that is going to be my my next year it's about uh, executing all the ideas that I hold in on. mind. Okay, hold on. Even before we get to next year, Switch TV. So, how did that come across? Switch TV is a very interesting conversation because